Hello guys and welcome to Code City, where coding never ends. If you guys remember last time, we talked about how to host a website using Firebase. I'll leave a link somewhere on the screen here. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to get that website connected to your domain name. So in order to get that going, we need to do the following. Now, before we get started, I'd much appreciate if you guys can show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing so you can get the latest content update. So when it comes to domain registrars, there are quite a few out there. Uh, the best one, in my opinion, the easiest one, and this is personally my opinion, is Namecheap. But there are a few that you can select from like GoDaddy or Thanadot or Hover or Google Domains. And Google Domains is pretty easy to use, but I like using Namecheap because they have certain tools that I like. So we're gonna host our website using Namecheap. Now to get started with Namecheap, let me just go ahead and close out the rest of these so they can be out of the way. Now that we're on Namecheap's website, it's pretty easy to set everything up. What you want to do is go to sign up and create your account and then go to login. And once you have your account and everything set up, it should be pretty easy to log in. And I'm just going to log in here now, sign in and continue and get my two-factor authentication system in. So once you guys log in, you guys should be redirected to your dashboard and it should look something like this, but just not as many URLs. But uh, in order to continue, click on the Namecheap icon at the top and you guys should be rerouted back to the home page where we can search for our domain name. Now, once you're on the home page, what you want to do is in the search bar, just type in the domain you want. Like for in our example, we want Code City. So we will type in Code City and just hit search. And it should prompt us with a few results here. And as you can see, we have a couple. All we have to do is just add to cart, whichever one you want. And then we can just go to cart, view cart, and then you can check out and your purchase the item or the domain that you wanted. And then just go back to your dashboard and it should appear there. So dashboard and there we go. As you can see, we're going to host this on realcodecity.com. Now that we have our domain, let us go to Firebase and log in. And if you guys remember, here's the same project that we did our last video. Click on it and go to hosting and it should show our URLs again right here. Once you have landed on this page and you see your URLs, go back to Namecheap and then next to your domain that you just purchased, uh, click on manage and it should take you to a new page where you can manage various different stuff uh, for your domain. And what we want to do is go to advanced DNS. And it should look something like this. Once you've landed on this page, what I want you to do is right up here at the top, it should say your domain name. I want you to go ahead and copy this domain name and then go back to the Firebase uh, hosting and go to add custom domain. And go ahead and paste the domain that you just copied. And then click continue. And it should provide you with a verification record. So what you want to do is you want to copy this into the Namecheap website. So what we're going to do is you see these squares here, go ahead and copy this value right here, copy, and then go back to the Namecheap. And you should see two records here. Go ahead and delete the first one. You won't need this one anymore and click yes. And then for the second one, go ahead and delete this as well. You won't need this. And then what you want to do is you want to add a new record. Go ahead and click add new record. And you want to do a text record. And then the host, we're going to do at. And then the value, we're going to paste what Firebase gave you. And then 
this we can just leave it to automatic or if you want to change it to one minute you can but i like to leave it automatic so it just does it right away as soon as it can and give it a few minutes uh it does take time and if we go back here we click verify it will say not yet registered so let's give this a few minutes and then we'll be right back now that it's been a few minutes let's see what it says verify and see if it works ah we have our values all right so the next step is to link this to namecheap so go ahead and copy this first ip here and then go to namecheap and then add another record here and then a record and then what you want to do is you want to do at and then paste this ip right here and i like to change this one to one minute check and then you want to add one more record and you want to do a record and for this you want to do www and then the ip again and then change this to one minute and hit check and then if we go back we should see a second one go ahead and copy the second one and then add one more record an a record and do this at and then copy and change this to one minute check and then same thing a record www is the ip automatic to one minute and check and we should be good here so if we go back here we couldn't click finish and we should see our domain name show up right here. So once you're on this, you should see the domain and then it should say pending as your status. But you should also see something like where it says, uh, what do you like to add www.cosyreal.com to? And you can just go ahead and do add. And then we don't wanna redirect this. We just wanna add it. So we're just gonna do this, continue and finish. And this will also do both of them which will both lead to your specific website okay and we're gonna just wait until the pending is finished because then once the pending is finished you should be able to just click on any one of these and it should show you the website and there we go that is our website guys and that little warning you just saw give it a few seconds and it should give you a secure lock here as well a secure ssl lock so once that is complete you will no longer see that warning as well on chrome and that is only specific to chrome also a little note for you guys if you guys want your website to have the www in front of it what you want to do is click on these three dots and then you want to edit and instead of doing serve traffic from this domain you want to do redirect and then just type in the domain you want the www.whatever.com and then hit done and it will redirect it to the www version whenever uh, anybody searches for your domain on Google or anywhere else. It'll always have the www in front of it with the SSL lock, which makes it look authentic and professional. And that was it, guys. Our website is now fully live and functional, but do give it some time for the SSL locks to kick in because as you can see here, it uh, Firebase says give it up to 24 hours, but I don't think it takes that long. Just wait like at least four or five hours or so and everything should be good to go and you then you can share your website with whomever you like and be authentic and professional and you should be all good after waiting just for like about half an hour or so the site is already working and we already have our ssl lock and everything i refresh it see it shows up and this is good ready to go and you can show this to anyone you want and it is ready to be shown to the public and now I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for future content. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.